Hello and welcome to this new video. My name is Andreas and today we look into a, some really cool grooves from Mr. Roger Taylor. Who knows where this guy plays or what, where this guy used to play drums. Okay, you guessed it maybe from the title already or when you click on uh, the video. Obviously from Queen. And we look into uh, the song Under Pressure, really cool grooves. And some special thing about Mr. Roger Taylor is that he used to like, or he just tries to um, accent the two and the four, the backbeat of the groove, always with an open height. Maybe not in every song, right? But if you hear that, you kind of always think, or at least for me, it is uh, the feeling that I always uh, think about Queen, right? So. That's exactly what I mean, right? So always the backbeat is um, kind of like, you always hear that open and close higher again, right? And that's exactly one of the grooves we want to look in today, right? But before we go into this, we first um, try to play the intro. And I know in the beginning there's some percussion and some other things like clapping, right? But I want to start right where the guitar starts to play. So we play eight notes on the height. So one and two and three and four and. But on the four end, we always open the higher. That's uh, basically the intro. But I also want to play uh, some accents. So I always play the quarter notes on the edge of my hi-hat. And the end notes, I play with the tip of the sticks, uh, with the tip <laughs> of the stick on the hi-hat. And um, what you see, my movement from my arm, that really helps you um, get this accent on the hi-hat, right? So you have one movement, and if you go up, you play then with the tip of the sticks on the hi-hat. And if you go down, you play on the edge of the height. Maybe first ignore that height opening on the fore end and just play that. Until it really sounds like you always accent uh, the quarter notes. And then if that works, you play on the fore end the open height. And here, usually on the end, as I said, I play with the tip of the stick on the height. But uh, in, in order to stress uh, this open height, I keep it on the edge. So I always play one and two and three and four and. And that's basically the intro. And the original tempo is 114 uh, beats per minute. So it's a bit faster. And the next uh, um, groove, what we look into, is um, the verse. And here he plays um, eight notes again on the hi-hat. And then a bass drum on the one, snare on the two, and another bass drum on the three end, and again, a snare on the four. And really practice that part first, because the next step is then to add this famous open hi-hats on the backbeat. So on the two and the four, when I play the snare, I also try to open the hi-hat. And I really try to open the height that with the next hit on the, with my stick on the height, I, I closed already the height, right? So it's really just quickly open it and then close it again. And actually he plays two parts um, in the verse. So he plays, that part is part A. And then the next, um, in, in groove number two, he plays um, one additional bass drum on the four end. But the rest stays exactly the same, right? So you have, again, the same thing what we just played. The only difference is another bass drum on the four end. So it sounds like that. And now if you always play, um, part A and part B together, you always, or it sounds like that. And 
and maybe you already hear that, but we have kind of like a two bass drums after each other because we play one on the four end in our part B. And then if you repeat it again to play part A, we have another bass drum on the one, right? So that's why you have this um, two bass drums. I try to like make it noticeable when I move my head <laughs> that there's this uh, two bass drums after each other. And that's basically the verse. And what we also need to learn, obviously, is to come from this intro into that groove. And what he does there, remember what we played in the intro? We played this one. But um, the last bar, before he goes into the verse, he plays not the open height on the four end, he plays a snare on the four together with an open hi-hat, and on the four end again the hi-hat, but closed, obviously. One and two and three and four and. And then he goes into the verse. And maybe it makes sense to play, obviously, um, some bars of that other intro before that. And then we try to go into the verse. It sounds like that. The next part is the chorus, and here he plays always the snare together with the hi-hat. And then on the, on the end notes, he always plays the bass drum. So always on the quarter notes, snare together with the hi-hat, and then on the end notes, just the bass drum together with the hi-hat. And we go into that chorus, we play on the one, a, a cymbal together with the snare, so. And you can play that actually uh, with every second groove you play. So you play one normal without any cymbal. And then on the second round you play together with a uh, uh, crash cymbal. And now, obviously, we need to exit the chorus again. And that's something I really like about that song. So we play, we, we come from that uh, last groove I just showed you. But instead of um, just keep playing it like that, in the last bar, he plays on the four a flam. And a flam sounds like that. And basically, you don't play uh, with two hands on the snare at the same time. You try to like kind of uh, play one note before the other one but not with a big gap. You keep it really together. And I also play the second note uh, with the rim shot to make it a bit louder. And the first note, I try to play really, really soft, like a ghost note. And that's a flam. And that's basically what you play on the four. So you play that uh, groove we just learned, right? Always on the quarter notes, the snare together with the height. And on the ends, the bass drum, one and two and three and four, there you play the flam, and then the four end, you play a bass drum. And then we go into a, <laughs> another special groove, where we play again uh, on the one, the bass drum, together with the hi-hat, and we keep basically this eight note on the hi-hat, and then on the two end, we play the snare together with an open hi-hat. And the same thing again on the four. And if I combine it with the groove before, it sounds like that.
And if you come out of that groove, you play uh, two uh, crash cymbals, one on the one, <laughs> and then you see, um, which is a quarter note, which means the next note would be on the two. But there we have a little break, right? Uh, which is an eight note break. So on the two end is the next note. So one, two, and. One, two, and. And I play those uh, th cymbals together with the bass drum. One, two, and. One, two, and. And if I play all of that together, it sounds like that. You maybe hear already the sound of the most famous bass line on the world, I think, um, which comes right after we played those two cymbals. That's it for today's tutorial. I hope you really liked that. Um, let me know in the comments what's your favorite Queen song. So maybe we look at that as well in the next videos. There's more obviously in that song, but I want to keep it simple for you so you can play with that groove already to the original song. And I hope you have fun with that. And obviously I hope also that we see each other in the next video. Have fun.